Anyway, why well, hello there, welcome back to the next episode of uh, Welcome back to the next episode of uh, Dutch KV. Let's listen to some copyright free, free music right now. How about them apples, eh? Epidemic Sound Com. I got access, man. I got access. I'm with Curse now, man. I got access. Oh, I probably shouldn't log in on Scream. Maybe he remembers me. I hope he does remember because I don't want to. I don't want to log in on Stream. It seems like a stupid idea. Oh, see, he remembers me. All right, so uh, let's let's find ourselves some uh, some music. What are we looking for? What are we looking for. How about some, uh, how about some epic? It's a cool epic. Yeah, it's more like it. Okay, we need to proclaim a guarantee on that guy. And uh, we need to really fight this dude. And we need to remember to revoke the guarantee next month. And I'm going to forget if we start a, a new war, so. Gotta do that straight away. This music uh, sounds a little like. Kingdoms of Amalur, I don't know if you... Many of you know that, some chat's gone. Okay, seems fine. Oldie Waldie. Ah, oh, Breaking Truths, of course. Yeah. What about Meckley Beckley? No CB. What the? Okay, well, what about Looney Boozy? Good job. Yeah, no, I expect an apology. Hey, right, apparently I need to fabricate claims on all of these people before I can actually attack them. What's next? A schedule? <laughs> Lower music volume, okay. Oh yeah. That's better, I think. Still a bit loud. That's a bit, yeah, well the music's kind of stopped, so, okay. Military access from Kazan, fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's over here in the economy tab, and then you hover over your development number, and then, oh, bother. Hover over the development number, and it'll say 106 provinces. So there you go. And France could not get what he wanted, so he got nothing. Because we were smart enough to... What? How is GB not a valid rival target, though? Well, apparently we have to rival Portugal now. Land of lawful territory can kiss my ass. And we gotta revoke this embargo. Wow, I can't believe uh, I can't set him as a... As a thing. It's amazing. Yeah, I gotta revoke my embargo on him. I'm gonna get a claim on the uh, Vishmar. And go fight Lunenburg. Who's allied with Bohemia? Okay, we'll go fight Pomeranian. Didn't I just fabricate a Lunenburg? Okay, now I just did. 
Lunaberg, time to die. France would join, I'll go call them in. No, I won't. This is gonna be a ridiculously easy war, so. No need to call people in for ridiculously easy wars. Do you know if I can still get achievements on 1.12.2? I think so, but I'm not sure. Like, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Once again, don't quote me on that. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I think so, though. I think you can get it from like 15 patches back, so. <laughs> but, uh. Play on this one. Help out the developers. Hmm. That ain't good. Yeah, relations not looking too hot. I really need to uh, improve relations with France and Spain. I do quite enjoy having three quarters of Europe under my. Uh, as my ally, because uh, Austria is under a PU under France, so they're technically my ally too. Which is funny given the hardship they've given me before. If you don't have Marchy March yet, you can play as Lithuania, I believe, and release someone, and then uh, make them a var March. Just uh, like release something over here, and then. Sell them to Roth and Pinsk, and then you, you'll have Marchy March. And then make them into a March, of course. Oh boy, you gotta book it, dude. Otherwise, we might actually lose that battle. And do this to make sure we don't lose before you arrive. Now we really ought to win that though, like I can understand that troops being slightly better. But uh, no, let's not get into the extremes here. Don't quote me on that, Warrior in 2015. <laughs> Snap indeed. Can I peace out Saxony already? Or are they like gonna continue to be bitches? They're gonna get to you. That's kinda sad. Ah oh, well never mind. It just suddenly turned to low. A uh, war rep and an almond of treaties with no one really. War rep is good, war rep is fine. Right, next up. Cologne again? Ugh. Right, we gotta make sure that we annul the treaties between uh, Brandy Wandy and Bohemia. Our next little spat. So France is in need of improving relations. And I guess with that other diplomat we're gonna be fabricating claims in the more Hanseatic stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Wow, this army sucks. Wow, my troops are so terrible. Oh, to be fair, this army just needs to recover. It's like all the infantry died.
I'm gonna have to siege a Prague here though. I really like the, how they changed the Lubeck trade node. You no longer need to like go so far into Germany, you can just kinda get the coastline and then you're done. Do they already force convert you to No I can't, you're like 1% too expensive. I remember now. And then what's left? Bavaria. Yeah, we gotta make Silesia and all their treats with everyone. Oh no, no, no. Ooh, we could we could get a 354. Could get a 354. That's not bad. You never know what kind of crap we get if we don't do this. He's got a weak claim though. My life has ended. Probably gonna end up in a civil war. Out the fort though. This isn't Ryuku, right? Not allowed to do that unless it's Ryuku. As if he's so strong, dude. Like, fuck off, dude. Like, what the? F what do you got? Tech 19? What the? F what the blazes are you talking about? my troops just suck. Well, we won, but uh, it wasn't... Like, I had more troops than he did. And I've got freaking quality ideas. It's real annoying. Yeah, I don't know though. All that does is like lower your unrest a little bit, and it uh, gives you missionary strength and manpower. But you also pay taxes. You, you lose taxes, and every single time you want to get your papal authority up, you have a choice between losing admin or something bad. Well, you gain something good, but then you lose papal authority. So you, you're basically trading papal authority for something good. And that good thing is usually like really good, so it's like, eh, it's kind of iffy. War up, money, annulment of treaties with Silesia. Bohemia, we need an annulment of treaties with Brandenburg. Oh, oops. Bad. Oh, you're gonna accept this, you piece of shit. It's just that so fast. Ugh. Burning passion. Oh my God. Should have picked offense if this is ridiculous.
Come on. It's actually ridiculous. And now he unseeged one of his forts. Even though we're both sieging with like 20 cannons in every army. Oh, 18 in this one. Okay, granted. Still, that is so stupid. Yeah, you better fucking... I want this guy not in any of my... Frickin' wars, cause oh my god. So bad, shit insane annoying. Oh, the fuck. There we go. Let's go. Let's go occupy Lunenburg before some random OPM snags that away from me. Gotta go siege up Zepash. liked my level 3 theologian. I said I really like my level 3 theologian. And now I am a level 3 theologian. There we go. Ah, much better. So much for Zepesh. Wow, a four six. <coughs> I think he got that one out of it. Out of event. Ah, he'd be alright in getting full. Oh, wait, no, no, I still want to siege up uh, Silesia, I think, to an awesome treaties with him and his allies. So let's see. Oh, he doesn't have any allies. Well, fuckery Daisy, do then. There you go. Next up, Pomerania, ally with Brandenburg and Brunswick. We can set Brandenburg as a co belligerent. He's allied with Sweden. Or we could attack this guy and set Pomerania as a co belligerent. Don't want anything off of Brunswick, so that's, I think, fine. Actually, what the fuck does it matter? Who are you allied with anyway? Just Brandenburg. Oh, that moment when you can squish. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that moment where you can squish Brandenburg armies. Oh, yes. 
Actually, I probably should have set Brinsvig as a cold blatant, and then I could have uh, force converted them too. Thank you, Ashfire. This music is uh, brought to you by Ep Epidemic Sound. And it was uh, Peter Sandberg who composed this. Peter Sandberg. It's all royalty free music. Uh, it's a good time. Seems like the playlist ended though. Wow, how many dockets was that? 900? <laughs> so it looks like the fort's on this side, so I don't know what I'm blockading there. So they sieged up Lunenburg, so I can. Can you like do something like? Uh? Yeah, I like that song. Weapons of impact by Johannes Björn. Yeah. yeah. Claims. Alrighty then, we got that under wraps. Some radius on low. So I say, get in my belly. Sweden can't uh, move because all of the he can't siege up any of my forts so because he's got too few guys he needs fifteen thousand to uh, be able to siege down a fort and he needs uh, he's only got ten. Uh, I'm not one to shy away from that, but uh, still that's kind of painful. Can you stop sieging up the province of Coring? Holy f***ing guacamole, dude. No, they're a kingdom. They never were an empire.
Oh, you're real life, sweetie. Can I get a useful level three advisor? See the level three trader now. That one, that one strikes my fancy. Can you stop running all willy nilly everywhere? I'm, I'm assuming that's a no then. Swear to God, I'm gonna punch you in the face, you irritating piece of shit. Fucking Brandenburg, man. It's like 1,000 guys. Let's run around! You'd almost want to build forts everywhere just to prevent that from happening. Ah, uh, actually, no. They were by definition an empire because if you own. Definition of an empire is a. Uh, a. Territorial state that owns uh, land from outside of its natural thing. So one state that uh, rules over what used to be a different territorial state. That is the definition of an empire. Since Sweden ruled over things that used to be independent, that makes them an empire. By definition. I'm gonna have a lot of genociding to do after this. All annexation. Now that they're gone, there's nothing stopping me from culture converting all of Swedish. What was the development of the last Swedish province? 18. But I didn't leave them with that for long, so... Alright, yeah, cultural enrichment, yeah. How could I have forgotten? Fuck all France, seriously. Silesia. You'd think eventually he'd get the picture and he'd be like, okay. Guess I'll leave him alone now. Wait, why did I declare war on Brandenburg to begin with? I don't necessarily need their land. I mean, I suppose I'll take it now that I declare war for it. I really need the land. Ooh, getting to that, getting to that dangerous point in the game now. Might just start joining coalitions. And, ooh, I could force convert him. And take group in. Can I? Ooh, I'm pretty. I mean, that is the war goal. Some people might get pissed. Probably a tinsy. Slincy, wincy, dinsy bit. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I hope that means Lithuania joins. Yup. And then I can annul Lithuania's treaties with uh with Spain. 
and safely attack them again. Alright, Brandy. Force convert time, bro. Into this war. 